You three? Yeah, okay. So now this is the one for, okay, this is a happy one. Not happy, but this is from all my entire family. It's for my dad, my mom, uh, yeah, Tammy. This is a picture of my mom, and I think the way I would look at it in a positive light is that she's a young, beautiful woman here, and she's, um, she's kind of like trying to decide what to do, and she had more, so many choices. But you know, the thing is, she made the right choice. She took care of me and Daphne and Tammy, and she she was the best mom in the world. And you, I mean, I'm just still so sorry that I couldn't be a better son. And I, I love her so much. And um, I just hope to see her again one day. And if I see her, <laughs> that, uh, well, okay. so let's just do a quick. Remember like, Psalm 23. Picture. What? Remember Psalm 23. Yeah, Psalm 23. I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever is the right. last line. Well, so. Psalm 23. Okay. Well, I'm gonna have to read that one because I went to Psalms 139. But yes. Psalm 23 is really important. And Psalm 139 also. Yeah. Oh, okay. So let, um, I'm just going to look do a quick thing. Okay, so this is Israel. If you can look at that picture, that's my mom in Israel. And it's kind of hard to see. But she was a soldier. She was a soldier. Was it IDF? Uh, yeah. And, and then here's another one. Can you see that picture? I don't know if that's, I don't even know who that is. A friend I'm, of hers? Mm, maybe. I bet you someone will know. Is but, there a date on the page? No. no. Oh, wait a minute. You are right. It might have been my grandpa. My, maybe it was my dad's friend. I don't know who it was. But let's look at pictures that we know. So if we look down here. Oh, now here's a really cool one. Can you see that? This is dad. That, that's, there's dad, mom, and Daphna. I wasn't mm. even born yet. That's in Israel. Mm. And they were, they were, okay, so let, let me line them all up. Let me give all the pictures line them up like this. So we can look them. Okay, so this is Danny. Uh, that's me. Cool, I, that, I know. I think I look like a girl, but <laughs> a I was like 13 really. years old, and I was in Israel. I was in Israel in Jerusalem in this totally Orthodox school. Mm. And then this is my. These are my cousins, Tomer, and uh, he's my cousin. I know he looks dark skinned because half of my family was like Sephardic, which is from oh. Sp Spanish. On your dad's side. On my part? side. My side. Your mom. My mom's side. Yeah. Sephardic, because she's yeah. fair. Yeah, but. The, so then there's Tomer and Mexi, they live in Israel now. Mm -hmm. And then this is, that's Nir. Nir is my mom's, th these are my cousins again. Mm -hmm. Nir, and then there's Tomer, I think. And they're in Israel right now. And then this, oh, here's my mom. Did we see the picture of her pregnant? Mm -hmm. there, there's her pregnant. Mm -hmm. And then, look, hold on, let me get more. Pregnant so then we have, okay, then we have, okay, of course we have these right here. This is, I guess, this is probably my grandpa drew this one. That's like a picture of my mom. I think the only person I can think of is my grandpa that would draw like that. Hmm. And then this is, now this is a really cool picture of Daphna, Tammy, and mom. Mm -hmm. And all the girls, and then here's another one of all the girls. And then we have, this is Tammy before mm -hmm. she was, I don't know how old she was, like two. <laughs> yeah, she was really cute. Mm -hmm. um, and we'll put this one back. So we still have to go through a few more. And then we have... Okay, we have these now. This is, this is, Tammy was so, always so hip. You know, she always had the right clothes and everything. Mm -hmm. That's Grandpa and Tammy. Yeah. I don't know what this fashion this was. Mm -hmm. But this was a long time ago. But then this is Darlie. Mm -hmm. I love Darlie. Look mm -hmm. at her. She's so cool. And, and this is, uh, here's Mom with Tammy. Beautiful. And then the, the last, so we'll finish off with, okay, I don't know. This person here looks like. It might have been one of my mom's relatives. I'm not sure which one. But then the last pictures are my grandmother. This is in tribute to my grandmother because I really, I, I wish I could have spent more time with her. But this is my grandmother, and this is in Israel, and this is a, her class. These are kids that my grandmother, she had her own like nursery school kind of thing, and uh, and then this is okay. There's that, and then here's this one, another class of people. This is grandma. Yeah. And all the kids. And then I guess I wanted to say. Okay, I just want to say one last thing if you keep the video on. This is like the most important thing. I just want to talk about the picture and what I'm trying to do with my website. So I'll stand over here. Can, can you see me on the picture? Okay, well, this is... Okay, I'll just start explaining about I'm trying to start a website for suicide prevention, but I noticed that a lot of times when I was suicidal, you can't call because it's in the middle of the night and no one's going to pick up the phone. Or they want to get you off the phone. So I wanted to design a website which would be able to, someone that was suicidal could find someone any time of the day and talk to them, chat on the internet. Because I think a lot of times people that are suicidal, they can't call, they can't call on the phone. So I, I started a blog called uh, Borderline Personality. It's called Borderline Person. 
And it's kind of like I wanted it to be a way that everybody from schizophrenia, bipolar, any mental illness could contact other people, even to talk about medications or find out who the best doctor is, or just to, just to make friends with people. Because I graduated from the OCD clinic, and my friend Lauren uh, was very, we, we wrote a bunch of songs, and this is going to be the cover uh, of the album. Um, it's called My Best Friend Suicide. But I, I'm doing, I, I wrote the album with Lauren because we want to help people with mental illness, especially people with It's kind of like a tribute for Jason, who committed suicide. But while I was writing it with Lauren, my mom was passing away, so it became like my mom and Jason at the same time. But I just think that everybody, I don't know how to say this, but if you feel suicidal, um, when I felt suicidal, I'll say that I thought that no one could help me. I really thought there was no way. And because I was lucky, you know, I, I unfortunately, it's so easy to get drugs on the internet, and I, I got a website where I found um, a drug that was supposed to be, I paid $600, to India, but I never got the drug because I was afraid the police would, you know, bust me or whatever. So I never got the drug, and that's like the only reason I'm still alive. And I feel guilty to this day that um, I suffered from so much depression and suicide, and like my the last there was like one year my mom came back from I was from the Philippines, like for a whole year I was so suicidal. And then luckily I went to the OCD clinic at UCLA. I'm not saying the OCD clinic is like the magic cure for everything but it let me grow as a person and to do music again. And I think mm -hmm. that uh, one way that I feel better is I'm writing songs every day. I'm playing music. Even tonight, I'll be playing music tonight. And I think that's one of the most, that's God's greatest gifts, you know? And then Psalms 23, what does it say in Psalms 23? It talks about the one. shepherd or what? The Lord is my shepherd, the Lord I shall is my shepherd. not want. I shall not what? I shall not want. I shall not wander. What? I shall not want. Want. You shall not want if you know the shepherd. Oh, okay. So what, what, how does the rest of it go? Oh, it's pretty long. Okay. But I, there's two psalms which I think are really, really... Um, psalms 139, which is psalms having to do with, like, dying and stuff like that. And then the other psalm, which really was so... such an important psalm for me to help, you know... Because a minister came into the, to the uh, hospital and I said, can you give me one prayer in the entire Bible I can say right now to help my mom? And he said, oh, it's Psalms 139. He didn't even, he just said Psalms 139. And I went home and I read it, and it's really an amazing psalm. And I wrote Morning Wings, which is the song that we mm. and Lauren did, based on the, the words, more, it has the words wings in it. And then, so anyways, um, I just wanted to say, and also about the Song of Hope, there was one more song that I wrote, and this is like, kind of goes out to my sister Tammy, when me and Lauren went to the hospital, um, Tammy, I tend to write more depressing songs. I, I think they're all about Jason committing suicide. So I was in there, I walked in with Lauren, and she sang one of the songs, and Tammy goes, that was so depressing. I mean, you can't come in here singing these depressing songs to mom. So I remember I walked out of there, and I said, this is really horrible, I gotta do something. So like within a few minutes, I, I remember I walked into the bathroom, and I said to myself, this is a song of hope. That's, those words came up to me, and then I, I kind of like, I said, this is a song of hope for the people in despair, never lose hope, you are loved. And then I think we went back to the room, and then me and Lauren went downstairs, and like, I, I basically wrote everything I possibly could about my mom. And then we made it all into a beautiful poem, and then we would always read this and sing it for my mom, and I think that if that song was for everybody who's lost hope, and you know, and uh, I just, I love my mom so much, and I just wish, I hope I can see her again, and I, I'm praying, you know, and one, one thing that makes me sad, the last thing I'll say is that I always ask my mom, um, do you believe in God? And she'd always say no. And it, she, she did say no? Oh, uh, no. That's what I, yeah. I would share with you. Yeah, it's okay, okay. But the thing is, what, what bothered me, she did believe in God? Yes. Okay, well, that's good to know. She Absolutely. Did, she Absolutely. did believe in God? Okay. Absolutely. Well, thank you. Because oh, I always, she always told me the Holocaust was one of the reasons why she lost hope. But I guess she found her hope again, and I'll share that with you. That's what I want to share with you and the other Tammy and Dad. Can you tell us she about found that? her hope. Right. Okay, we'll talk about it. We'll talk about it. Privately. And yeah, we'll talk about it privately. Later. Thank you so much, yes, and Kathleen. I want to thank most of all. I want to thank Kathleen for coming here and uh, mm -hmm. letting me see this my, my the place where I grew up. You know, yeah. for the last maybe the last time. Yeah. And. Um, for Kathleen for being here, answering the phone, being a sweetheart, and then talking to my mom, and like Absolutely. really being a great person in my family. Precious person, and I miss her terribly, but I know I'll see her again. Yeah.
so I guess that closes <laughs> it up with just don't commit suicide and just, I know it sounds like cliche, but reach out, even if you don't want to, like and things will, it's almost like things cannot get worse, so they have to get a little better. And if you just wait time out, you'll find yourself I'm saying God is there for you there for if you. you just call on Him. Yes. He will answer. Yes. And people don't, I think a lot of people don't call on God. And just read Psalm 23 and Psalm 139. Yeah. In your nearest Bible and trust God, He will speak to you. I can guarantee you. Your mom listened. I listened in 1974. Your mom listened May 5th last year, 2015, when we shared and uh -huh. you know but she did believe yes thank absolutely. you thank you I, I i i that makes me feel so much better because i yes. always it makes me feel better that you said that because I, I always had such a hard time after the holocaust like when i you know after these things happened to people like how can there be a god i thought but then somebody in the church told me that um that was like satan and it wasn't, it wasn't god absolutely and it, there is a war between good and evil and god yeah. has made provision for everyone who will believe and reach out in faith. He will yeah. meet you. And he met your mom, I can tell you for sure. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. And I'll see her again. Okay. And we want you to see her again. Okay, okay, <laughs> So why don't we uh, press the red button or just tap it.